Diana would have been a nightmare grandmother. She'd be a nightmare grandmother. Absolute nightmare. That's William's own words about his mother. One of her mottos to me was, you can be as naughty as you want, just don't get caught. Diana could let her kids get away with anything. To know what kind of grandmother she would have been, we have to look at the kind of mother she was. She was one of the naughtiest parents. What kind of mother hires supermodels for her children? It was Diana's idea of a hilarious prank to do exactly that for William's birthday. She organized when I came home from school to have Cindy Crawford, Christy Tellington, and Naomi Campbell waiting at the top of the stairs. I was probably a 12 or 13 year old boy who had posters of them on his wall. And uh, I went bright red and didn't quite know what to say and sort of fumbled. And I think I pretty much fell down the stairs on the way out. Things like that made her a nightmare mom. Our mother was a total kid through and through. But it also made her the best mom they could wish for. That was a very funny memory that's lived with me forever about her loving and embarrassing and, and sort of, you know, being being the sort of uh, the joker. It was Diana's loving antics and sense of adventure that would have made her that nightmare grandmother. She'd love the children to bits, but she'd be an absolute nightmare. She'd come, probably at bath time, cause an amazing scene. Bubbles everywhere, bath water all over the place, and then leave. I'm, I'm sure she would uh, be running around causing chaos like I intend to. All I can hear is her laugh in my head. And that sort of crazy laugh of where there was just pure happiness shown on her face. Sarah Ferguson was once a royal wife like Diana. She was the first wife of Prince Andrew. But she was also a childhood friend of Diana and perhaps knew her better than anyone. <laughs> what kind of a grandmother do you think Diana would have been? You were very close with her. Yeah, she, she just would have been the naughtiest, funniest, <laughs> and the bestest ever because just, just she loved her boys so much. Not even Charles was amused with her parenting choices. She'd let her kids indulge in sweets. She fed them McDonald's junk food. She took them to normal shops where commoners went. But that did not make her a bad mother. She always understood that there was a real life outside of palace walls. She set us up really well. She gave us the right tools. More than anything, her boys were her first priority. My first priority will continue to be our children, William and Harry, who deserve as much love and care and attention as I am able to give. My mother cherished those moments of, of, of privacy and being able to be that mother rather than the Princess of Wales. Diana's memory lives on through her sons, not only through her own parenting choices, but also through the many charities they support. Like their mother, Prince Harry and Prince William have used that power to draw attention to their charitable work. I hope that a lot of my um, mother's talents are shown in a lot of the, the work that I do. William and Harry work hard to protect her legacy. And looking at the way they raise their own children, we are sure that her grandkids will do the same. We will do everything we can to make sure that she's never forgotten and, and carry on all of the, the special gifts as such that she had and that she portrayed while she was alive. Diana might have been a nightmare grandmother, but she would have been a proud one. <laughs> I hope she's looking down, you know, with, with uh, tears in her eyes. Being...